up guys and welcome back to my channel Whew. you already know the vibes but i mean it's been a while so if you don't subscribe like follow me on all my socials you know what it was on tiktok i'm food with chanel and everything else it's been such a long time such a long time since i've done a recipe video and to be honest you know there's no excuse but there is you know i went away to jamaica and i had a whole just i had an amazing time and then i came back and i'm not gonna lie i was in a very rough place there was just a lot going on life you know how it goes but you guys don't need to understand that because at the end of the day you're here for food with chanel so that's what you're gonna get and i'm just ready to be back in the kitchen cooking again so you girls got you today i'm actually making stew lamb because i got some lamb it was on special offer and i thought well yeah let me just make something quick and easy some stew lamb and rice i wasn't intending on keeping my headscarf on but i'm only gonna get hot and sweat off my edges anyway so you know ingredients list will always be in the description down below let's get back to it guys i'm so glad to be back please if you're new subscribe we've got some big good content coming if you're a returning sub thank you thank you for rocking with me because it's been yeah it's been a while and i have missed y'all i've missed you a lot so let me show you guys what flair i'm coming back with now that i've been to jamaica i'm back now i'm feeling ready feeling fresh yeah let's get straight into this stew lamb recipe here is the lamb which i actually seasoned up yesterday so yeah it's got all those seasonings on there which i will put in the description so you know what i used but it was basically a mixture of lamb seasoning all-purpose seasoning garlic thyme all that stuff isn't it and then here we have a mixture of bell peppers fresh thyme one chopped tomato onion spring onion and then here we have some chopped carrots, chopped garlic and chopped scotch bonnet. So yeah, we're going to get straight into it and just sear off our lamb, get it nice and brown and into this pan. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my pan nice and hot and put some oil in. Not too much, just enough to cover up the bottom of the pan. So that we can fry our lamb chops and then once your oil is hot turn it down to like medium high because you don't want the lamb chops to burn and then we're just gonna put our lamb chops in My pan should be able to fit in all of these. You don't want to crowd it, but I'm crowding it because I don't want it to do three batches. So I mean, just make sure that they've all got a bit of room like this. And don't get rid of your seasoning bowl. Just keep that to the side because we are going to make our stock in that bowl. And then after about four minutes, turn your lamb top over. have a nice sear on them like this give them a little shake in the pan and leave it for about another four minutes okay so after about three to four minutes what i'm going to do i've turned it right down onto low and i'm just going to take out the lamb chops to rest for now whilst we 
saute all the vegetables and all that good stuff. Okay, so we've got our lamb here that's been seared off, but it's not all the way done yet. Then I'm going to add in the chopped garlic. I'm going to also add in the scotch bonnet pepper. Get a spoon. And then I'm also going to add in all of the vegetables here. So we've got the onion, the tomato, the bell peppers, the spring onion and the fresh thyme. I just want to give that a mix. You can turn up the heat again, put it on maybe like a medium heat just to get these vegetables sweating a little bit. And then you also want to add in the chopped carrots. I'm trying to think if I have a stew lamb recipe on my channel. I actually might do already, but I've definitely not done stew lamb chops. So at least you guys will get to see what that looks like, or how I do it. So whilst that is working off a little bit, you can put the lid on, just so that they can cook a little bit. And then in the back here, as you can see, I've got the same seasoning bowl there. What I'm going to do... I'm also going to turn down that part, just turn it down on low. I'm going to get a lamb stock cube and just dissolve that in like, actually you know what, I might use, should I use a whole one? Yeah. Some stock cubes are a bit saltier than others, so depending on how much you're cooking, you might find that you need to use half of one, but today I'm going to use a whole one. I'm just going to dissolve this in about a cup and a half of boiling water in the same seasoning pot there. And then you just want to let that dissolve. I always like to add some browning. People always ask me what is this? It's used in many things, mainly gravies and stuff and stews. My grandma actually used to use this in her rum cake as well to make it dark. So just add maybe like half a teaspoon into it. You don't need that much because it does make it quite dark. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of my Maggie liquid seasoning. If you can't have it because I think it's not gluten free or something. Someone commented that they couldn't have it. If you can't have this, you can add soy sauce if that's suitable for you. I'm not sure, but if you can't have that, there's alternatives that you can add to it as well. You can check on our vegetables. As you can see, our vegetables are cooking away nicely, getting a little soft. So what I'm going to do now is pour in my lamb stock. I'm going to turn up the heat just to get it going. And just mix this up. Once the stock begins to kind of come to a boil, which it is now, you don't want it to be boiling too much, it almost just needs to be simmering. 
you're going to add back in your lamb chops into it and just let them sit on top of the vegetables because then all that flavor from the lamb is going to sink into that and it's going to make it nice and delish Then once all your lamb pieces are in, any juice left on the plate, add that in as well. Just gently tap around the side to make sure all the lamb is just gently submerged in. You don't want it fully covered, you just want it to be slightly covered in the stock. Turn it on to a medium low heat. So we don't want it to be boiling, but more so simmering. And we're gonna leave it like that for about half an hour. And then we're going to check on it. Whilst that's cooking, I'm going to boil some rice because I'm going to serve it with some rice. So you can serve it with anything though. Um, you could serve it with mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, rice and peas, whatever you like. So yeah, I'm going to serve mine with some basmati rice. Or should I do it with some... I've got some rice and peas in the fridge. I don't know. We'll see. You'll see soon when once it's done. Okay, so it's actually been maybe about... 45 minutes I would say and here we have our stew lamb I'm not gonna lie so as you can see the lamb itself is nice and juicy and tender you can get a bit more light Yeah, the lamb is nice and juicy and tender, just the way that we want it. But it's not done yet, it still needs a little more. So, before I let it cook some more, I want to thicken up this stock here. Which is full of those lamb juices, the scotch bonnet, the garlic. Now, I've got two tips of thickening up gravies. Now, if you're trying to do a quick thing, use Bisto. Ain't nothing wrong with that because you're already seasoning it up and adding your own little flavors. But for about the past year, I've started focusing on making my own gravies. So I use corn flour. Now there ain't nothing wrong with this either because a lot of people are like, we don't do that. Listen, it's something that I've just kind of started to do. Um, and what you do, this is about teaspoon and a half maybe two of corn flour then you add in some cold water I would say that was about three tablespoons so let's say you put two teaspoons of corn flour to three tablespoons of water and just mix that in until it looks like milk and all this does is thicken up the sauce that's it that's what it does it thickens up the gravy so yeah just make sure you mix it well because you will have some flour at the bottom then once you've mixed it all up like that pour this in and it can go anywhere it doesn't really matter it's not gonna change the meat and then what it will do slowly is thicken up this stock into a nice rich gravy you're going to see the difference now if it was practically done I would turn it up give it five ten minutes and then it would be finished but it needs probably another 15 minutes I would say I still want to give this a little while so I'm going to leave it alone you can even see here it's started to get thicker already but if we just leave this for 15 minutes cover it up then we'll be ready to serve. I've already done my rice in the back. My rice here, nice, fluffy, already done. Um, if you need to learn how to cook rice, go on my channel and it's there waiting to be learned. So yeah, just keep your lamb on for about 15 more minutes and then it should be ready. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes now and voila. There we have it. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. 
see how that's bubbling up nicely now so if I get a big spoon and show you how that gravy has just thickened up with all those flavours I'll even pick up a piece of lamb nice tender juicy and that's basically it you can serve this like I said with rice you can serve it with mashed potatoes roast potatoes totally up to you but this is one of those quick flavoursome dishes when if you don't have long do this it's not much work at all so now we're going to get this on the plate so that we can taste it because I want to take some pictures of the food I'm going to put it all apart from the rice in this big dish here so I thought why not show you guys before I do it before I do it before I eat the, the first because I don't want the gravy to like totally cover everything Pop that. The lamb chops onto it. And then put in some more of that gravy as well. How juicy and succulent that lamb looks and then there you go stew lamb okay so we're gonna plate up some of this rice we're just gonna get some of this nice beautiful lamb and put it on the side and just if you've got any stems of thyme you can remove them before and then just put that gravy all over the rice that's the way i like it anyway if you don't want it on the rice then that's cool and there you have it stew lamb served with rice nice quick and easy sorry i've just realized there's so much noise in the background so hopefully it wasn't too annoying but it's hot in my kitchen so i had to open the window but there you have it, stewed lamb. Let's go and give this a taste. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a setup here. I kind of just quickly did it because I recently moved around my sofa. So yeah, so basically you guys are actually able to see me sitting down and eating. My food is here. Oh, hello sunlight, this is great. So. I basically did a bit of filming for TikTok, so it's a little bit like eaten into, but the rice and the stew lamb. Let me give it a taste. Mm. 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 There is such a nice kick to it. And the lamb is nice and juicy and tender 
yeah but that gravy like the carrots and everything has just added this different level of sweetness to it that tastes really nice mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. stew lamb is my favorite oh my god how did i forget about stew lamb it's so nice I thought I'd put it on my channel already, but I actually hadn't, so. Mm. Yes, yes, and yes, I need another piece of meat. I'm gonna go for that. I should have got a knife, but I didn't grab one. I'm gonna go for that, like, end piece of lamb chop. Mmm. Mmm. You've got to try this one. This one is def. I always say it's one of my favorites, but this legit. Mhm. Mm mm. Oh my goodness. Let me even pick it up with the bone. It's just everything that you need in a hearty meal quick and easy didn't take no time at all but the flavors just really work well with the lamb especially the sweetness of the carrots um the spiciness from the scotch bonnet pepper all gives what it needs to give mm. Mm -mm. and then i've got the rest here so I think this setup can work because I was in my kitchen and I thought, you know what, I'd recently moved around everything. So let me try here and it works. So, you know, I can even keep the plate here, I think. Yeah, I'm sure you guys can see if I eat like this. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Mm. I could actually sit here and devour the whole plate. But if you guys only knew, a very fun fact, every single time that I cook this, I don't sit and eat the whole thing. I'll take a few bites, then I'll put it in containers, put it in the fridge, and then it will get eaten over the course of the week. So can you only imagine how much food I actually have in the fridge just like chilling in there? Right now, I think there's, no, I've finished my leftovers already. There's food to cook for the rest of the week, which I'm making spaghetti either tomorrow or Saturday because it's blowing up on TikTok and everyone wants that. And then it's my niece's birthday this weekend and I'm making some chicken for it. I should have got a knife. Yeah, I'm making some chicken, so I'll be getting that over the weekend soon. That's right. Mm. The rice and the gravy is mad. It's almost like, I don't know, a meal in itself. Like, I could actually eat that by itself. So nice. Mm. But anyway, because as I told you, I'm not going to eat this whole thing. I had a salad before this and my breakfast, so yeah, and this isn't dinner yet. It's like, I don't even know where my phone is. I think it's about four, four o'clock. But anyway, I don't know why I'm blabbering on. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, I know it's been a long time coming. You guys have wanted content or at least you've been patiently just waiting for content for a long time you're getting it now um i'm on the ball now it's my birthday next month so i'm kind of on this you know work 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 up until my birthday and then live my best life so that's what i plan on doing um i still have another jamaica vlog to come as well i just need to edit it um but yeah 
If you want to make this at home, then the ingredients list will always be in the description down below. If you're not following me on my socials, make sure you are. Udo Chanel on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram and Facebook. And then also Snapchat, Chanel A. Wallace. Chanel A. Wallace on Instagram, that's my personal Instagram. And Chanel A. Wallace on TikTok. So yeah, keep up with me guys. It's about to get real, real exciting. If you've been here from the beginning, then you know how how crazy my journey has been. Sorry, this food is just too... I feel like this is now a mukbang and I'm just talking, but... Mm. If you've been here on the journey since, like, Snoop Dogg reposted my thing, then you know that this is... It's exciting. And it's about to get a whole lot more exciting, so... Yeah. Get making your stewed lamb and rice. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. See you in the next video.